All right, so let's talk about uh, a couple things in processing. So in the last uh, series of tutorials, you should have uh, drawn shapes using various functions or asked the computer to do things with uh, these commands, so draw an ellipse. But what are these numbers inside here? Well, we're going to get to that uh, way to kind of clarify what these numbers are. We're going to start talking about uh, the idea of values. So these are just values that you send to the ellipse function, numbers. But these values mean something, and we can kind of uh, figure out what they mean little by little by experimenting with them. So we see something about these values causes that to be drawn. So by changing some of them, say 75 will change to 10, we can notice that the second value must have something to do with how far up and down on the page it is. And in fact, it is the center point of the ellipse, and that is at a wide depth of 10 because the y axis goes from zero uh, in increases in value as it goes down. So what if we change this one to 10? Well, we notice that it scoots over that way, so this must have something to do with the x value, and in fact it does. That's the center point at 10 pixels in to that ellipse. So let's change this back to 50 and 75 now. Um, we can also represent these values using operators, which uh, processing the computer language here and all computer languages are able to handle. They're just calculators, so instead of 50, we could write 5 times 10 and notice that, yes, it does, in fact, uh, do the exact same thing. Instead of 75, we could do 100 minus 25. Instead of 30, we could do 60 divided by 2. And instead of 20, we could do 8 plus 12. And all of these things total out to be the exact same. The computer does the math for you before it sends these parameters in, these comma-separated little mini equations into the ellipse function where they're just represented as 50, 75, 30, and 20. Okay, um, I think that actually is just fine for this video. So just know that you can use these operators, multiplication, subtraction, division, addition, and there are uh, there's a few more. There's at least one more uh, that we're not going to get into right now, but uh, in your equations, and they're going to start to become a little bit, you know, powerful as we go.